Malcolm Rant. My book is really finished now. I have been working hard over the past few years and I really think, right, that I will have my book on my channel in a couple of weeks, right? No lesser than a month, I think. Now, I, I was debating with myself, should I put images in the book? Because uh, there's, so there's so many people that I talk about in my book, being a historical book, uh, I think I got, probably I got like 60, 70 people, right? That's going to be very hard to get those images in the book, make them all the same size and things. But anyway, I decided that I would do that. And it took a couple of days to get that done, right? And that's me just finished. And it absolutely looks pretty, pretty impressive, I think, right? So I think I got about 98% of the images. There was a few, there was a few ancient people that I could not get, just illustrations and things. Like if you think uh, the Mayans, Vera Kosha and uh, Quetzal, Quetzal, Cyrus the Great and things, right? It's kind of hard to get what they looked like in that. It was such a long time ago. But anyway, I got some pretty good illustrations in that, right? Uh, so there you have it then. My book is finished, right? A few weeks, it should be on my channel. It's really a great book. I remember it's a it's a historical book, okay. Uh, I, if I remember right, I run through the, the multicultural agenda, the road to the new world order. I think that kind of I called my book Invaders, right? But I think that kind of sums it up because these people, right, that I talk about, I definitely convinced that it's something to do with the. Uh, the Aryans and the Vedas, post Ice Age, or even before the Ice Age, right, that something happened, uh, that these people, they mixed in with these native peoples, and that's something that I see time and time again in my studies, that the people behind this agenda, the people who rule our world, they are mixed race peoples, they are the Eurasians, uh, just to keep it simple in that. And that, that's something, that's something that I've been looking into, right? I became a bit of an expert at anthropology and that, and it's very easy for me. There's, if you think about it, right, there's not many races in the world. Africans, Oriental peoples, Asiatic peoples, Europeans, things like that. There's not so many races. If you look at the sub-European races of Europe, the Germanic, Celtic peoples of the Norse, white peoples, right? All, all the, like, if you think of Russian white peoples, Roman um Russian white peoples, Polish and that, they all descended, they must have descended from those groups that were fighting the Romans a couple of thousand years ago. So that's something I realised that this is where they came from, right? It all seems to, if you think of uh, the ancient Mithras, uh, Zoroaster and the ancient Vedas, the Talak, the, the scholar from India that I wrote about, it all seems to... I, I put together a, a trace, right, and I, I traced these guys right into the Levant. Now, something that confused me, because this is ancient data, and nobody's got any information on this, no matter how smart they are. Did these ancient, did these uh, Aryans, they went to, they, apparently, they went to the uh, northwest India, and, and nothing much is said about it after that. This is just a hypothesis, right? But then, then you see, then you see, you see, if you trace, if you look at people today and trace it back, this is what I done instead of looking in the past and tracing it forward. I really did it both, right? If you think of the Jews and stuff, right? Definitely, I would make the clear case that they are Eurasians. So I trace it back, right? I I put the trace on them. You can see them, people first. Remember the Jews? They are not English people or French people. They are a different type of people, right? People are complaining that the Jews, they've got, that they've got power in England, power in France, Germany. You could, they're complaining about Jewish power, the Jews as a racial people networking to take over your society and things, right? The Jews are behind all the problems in your world. So, first of all, I, de I determined that the Jews are actually the Eurasians right now. You could trace them back to Rome, and obviously, uh, 
uh, things we've talked about before, Cicero and things, right? But if you go back before that, you could see that you could trace it back to Israel, 900 BC, uh, Judah, 1000 BC. The Jews as a people, they tell you themselves that they formed, they called themselves the Jews about 1300 BC, I believe. So you could trace it right back to the Levant, the Near East, right? And that's that's not so far away from, if you think the Levant, you think of Persia, Egypt, the cradle of civilization. You think if you just go a little bit further to the east, where do you go? You end up in India. And this is where the aliens end up. They talk about uh, these people, right, escaping the Ice Age or something happened. The, the ice, the coming of an Ice Age made them leave these lands in the Arctic Circle region, Scandinavia possibly, right? Or maybe it was the Deluge and they escaped into India. They became the Indian, the Indian type peoples and the Iranians, Iranians, the aliens and things, right? Or did these people, did they descend into those people? Or did these aliens, did they breed in with the native peoples there to create the Eurasian race and identity? Or were they created sometimes later in the Levant and they just changed their names to the Jews and things? So this is where I am, right? But another great thing I, I decided that I came up with is the, this is why these people are mixed race people and what they do, right, one of their secret weapons is to, how, how, if you think uh, Egypt, right, remember the, the Egyptians, they don't hold down, you think of Egypt, right, uh, the pyramids and the, the great scribes, the pyramid texts, the coffin texts, all these great things that came out of Egypt. It's not all about beauty and poetry. The, remember the Egypt, the Egyptians, they had a massive empire. They held that down with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of soldiers. So they were at war with these people in the lands. So you think of Israel, right? You think of the Jews being captivity in Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar II, but also in Egypt, right, hundreds of years before that. How, 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 did, the, how did the Israelis, how did they, the Jews, right, uh, how do they how do they compete with big races like the Persian Arabs or the Egyptians? Well, one of their key weapons was to breed in with the natives to acquire that look. So now they some some of them look like Egyptians, some of them look like Arabic peoples. This is one of, then they could use that right to fill the natives to try and play to take over that nation. Then they could displace the natives and hope you don't notice or even integrate you, integrate these people, right? So that's, that's where I am, right? This is what they did. They were definitely doing these things in the Levant area, right? The cradle of civilization. And eventually through the Roman Empire, right? They came into the West. Uh, remember in Mein Kampf, Hitler talks about the Jews came into Northern Europe with the advance of the Romans, right? So they were definitely there. And this is the kind of things they were doing from then 20 century, 20 centuries ago, right, two millennia, right up to today. This is this is how they got away with these kind of things, and they became the ruling classes, right? They took over all all these lands. They set up these empires: British Empire, the French, the Spanish. Took over the Americas, right? Displaced the Native American Indians, even bred in with some of these people, right? Uh, definitely in South America, you could if you're in anthropology. You could see how, you could see that mix, you could see white blood in these peoples, right? And there's, there's, there's certain elements in that, let's say you're a triple mixed person, right? Asiatic, Oriental, white. Is it the white part that, is it the white part that is important, the Asiatic part or the Oriental part? These are some of the things I get into in my book, right? So anyway, these guys, they did that, right? They took over our world, they it's their network network that controls that world. This is what JFK was going after. I really think he was not part of their network, okay? Uh, this is why they decided to get rid of Kennedy. It's these guys who are behind that agenda. But I really doubt, if you're thinking, right, I could just breathe in with them. I'll be the same race as them, right? I'll be safe. I, I, don't, I think we're past that, right? It's, uh, it's more in a ruling class now, a class war. 
The ruling classes are a race and a class on their own. For you to survive the coming collapse, right? Reduction in population, you really have to breed in with the political elites and the wrong classes. So you can see that's very hard to do, right? So there you have it then, right? That's what that's where I am. It's probably more a class war now, right? Uh, and we as a people, right, we have to really you have to really stop dividing yourself through race, class, things like that, right? Things that divide you. You've got brown skin, you've got white skin, you're a Chinese person or a white person or an African person. As a people, right, I'm a socialist, remember? A modern socialist, not a classical one, right? Something I may explain to you another time. I'm getting kind of tired holding this camera here, right? We have to come together as a people, right? Build political parties, right? And try and vote these billionaire elites out. That's these billionaire elites. Remember Farage, right? The billionaires control your world. Big business is behind this agenda, right? We have to get together as a people, build political parties, try and get these people out of office or they're going to leave us to die in a great big famine, right? Um, and that'll be the reduction in populations. The new world order is here, people, right? So anyway, right, my book is uh, finished. It should be on my channel in a couple of weeks, right? So thanks for watching.